What up guys, Any Tier, Guild Forever, however you want to call me. We're going to be reviewing Fate Stay Night episodes 4, 5, and 6. Things are really heating up. Most of what I've seen is what I've already seen in the previous adaption, the 2006 version. Still though, with updated quality. Which, honestly, it's fine by me because I'm noticing, like, even though they're similar scenes, since they're done with higher quality, I'm still able to appreciate it. The one few differences is that, um, well, the key major similarities was uh, the brief little Rin versus Shiro, Shiro versus Ryder. The only big difference that stood out to me was when they encountered Caster this soon. I did not expect Caster to li li literally grab a hold of Shiro and then, you know, take him to Ryu, uh, Ryoda, or Ryudu, or whatever. Like, the, the freaking, the castle, damn it. The home of where Caster is. And literally be trying to take his command seal. I did not expect that this soon. I don't remember if that actually... Wait, no. Did that happen? No, I don't think that... No, 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 no. What? No, they did kind of... No, look. Before what happened was... Is that Saber on her own decided to go to that place and attack it. This time around, Shiro got captured. Because, let's be real. Shiro is like the easiest target in the whole Grail. Because since he's not a proper mage and technically the only thing he really knows how to do at least for the time being is reinforcement magic until later on he learns how to uh, master his projection magic um still um, holy hell man i i mean i i will i will admit this though before maybe it's because of how they're directing it but doesn't it feel like i don't know Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but it feels like Saber is kind of like on the back burner of this series. She shows, she comes out here and there in very necessary scenes, but for the most part, it's like, it's heavily focused on just Shiro and Rin. Rin, in my opinion, is stealing the show, okay? Because her adorable personality... She's more expressive, she's more active. Like, everything about Rin is just more interesting. Shiro is still Shiro, but I will admit, I never really got tired of watching Shiro. It's just sometimes his dumb decisions get on my nerves. But for the most part, I never really dislike Shiro, and I never got tired of seeing him. So in a way, I'm fine with this. And I very much so like the... Um, reimagination they had for Rin's character because it's really starting to flush out and really kind of if you think about it to an extent it's the very it's one of those slice of life kind of feel moments that this series like slowly hints in not too strongly but slowly hints in to give some kind of breath of fresh air in this psychotic mass killing game war whatever you want to call it so yeah i will admit rin's character is a breath of fresh fresh air really like her archer being a being an ass as always that hasn't changed but still he's i'm just saying archer is so freaking epic especially when he fought when he was uh fighting against a berserker that was pretty nice Seeing, seeing all his attacks. And apparently people told me that um, apparently Archer's arrow, that drill looking arrow, killed Berserker. I am curious where, what gave, unless they confirmed it somehow in like an article or like in paper or whatever. What tells you that Berserker was killed? Like, I could not tell at all. All I know is, he was hit by that arrow, fire everywhere, and he just stood up like it's, it was normal. He looked like he was not affected whatsoever by that arrow. I'm just saying, based on what they showed me, I can only, I can only take that as, like, Berserker not being hurt. Because... 
Archers launched the arrow. Fire broke out. Fire cleared. Berserker stood there normally. There's no indication that shows he was killed. I know he has regeneration, but that was too quick. Unlike the unlike when uh, Saber stroke him, like in somewhere around this area, this whole part of his body, this whole part was completely gone. That was clear to me that he was killed at least once. But pretty much your guys are telling me that in this fight he was killed two times. Which means he only has five or four more lives? Somewhere around that area? Oh man. I mean, I'm just saying Rin has a point. If I was in Shiro's position, if I can't supply... Uh, a uh, saber with mana and she can't be transparent i'm not even going to school i'll be like look i'm on like a long extended vacation for a long period of time i mean bro in this war game you're gonna die you're either gonna die or you're gonna win it just comes down to those two because Unless most of the masters are like gone, the grail will not proceed from here. So either you're one of the strongest and you will survive all the way through, or you you dead. Like you is hella dead. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, um this is kind of early to say it, but I just want to mention it now before I forget. I'm just going to mention the two questions now. Question 1. In your opinion, where who are the top three mages in all of Fate Stay Night? Not counting Zero, only Fate Stay Night. If you could pick top three in order from strongest to least strongest, which would they be and tell me why? Uh, question two. What was the number one thing that made f the f whole Fate franchise appealing? Like, what, what did Fate offer to you that's... That was appealing for you to continue from one episode to the other. For me. It's pretty much the characters. For the most part. It's the characters. The story. I don't know. I guess the intensity of this series. Where like you're all fighting for survival. Like it's. It's kind of like the Hunger Games in a way. So it's it's interesting to me. I, 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 like, I, I like stuff like that. Like. Even though I will admit, like, being a part of this war is like, pfft, hell no. I don't care if you torture me, cut my fingers off, cut my arm off, beat my ass up. I don't care. I am not participating in this war. This isn't my fight. I don't care if my, I don't care if my relatives did it. I don't care if my parents did it. I don't care if my ancestors did it. I ain't a part of this shit. I... I didn't live all these years just to die in some stupid game. If you want the damn grail, take it for yourself. I don't care. I don't need the grail. Even though, let's be real, everyone could want the grail. But, like, just to kill each other for this, I'm just saying. Even though I will admit... The power to have anything you desire. That is... Like, especially to government. Like, if this were a real thing. And if the... I'm, I'm just saying. I'm surprised the, the Japanese government or whatever is not even aware of this. Like, are they aware of it? Are they not aware of it? Maybe they're aware of it, but they're choosing to ignore it. Because there are some, like officials that are a part of this holy grail business that they kind of let it slide underneath the government like they got government size but really i'm just saying why hasn't no one in this world done anything about this it happened once and then all these dramatic events that were going on i'm just saying this should have been caught on all from the right then from the events that happened 10 years ago. That was plenty of time 
to uncover what was going on. Even though it could lead to maybe voodoo-like shit to where, like, the rational think it's irrational to think any kind of source of magic would be involved. But still, I would, I'm just saying, they would have had enough information to where this does appear again that they're more prepared for it and such be like you know what these events are happening again we gotta look into this because literally these people are killing killing each other left and right granted yes there's only sent seven servants and seven masters but this is involving other people Thousands upon hundreds of people are being hurt, killed, comas, all that shit. Why hasn't no one done nothing about this? Like, I'm surprised there's not even a cop going out, building to building, being like, do you have any idea about the events that are occurring lately? Who is behind it? The causes and, and like, results? No! No! There's nothing of that being going on. There's no investigation, no nothing. Especially like the one on the freaking the one in the school grounds where the servant and where the two servants as well as Rin and Shiro that were there at the time. This school has horrible security if there was no recordings or nothing to grant as evidence for the events that took place like is there not even a f fragment of cameras here i'm just saying if you had cameras and you recorded this shit these people would be on their asses and the first one they would go to is for sure shiro and rin and they'd be questioned locked up even be like look you were there when this happened you mind telling me what's going on they're gonna be like i don't know what happened they're gonna, that's not gonna be enough for them they're going to keep them in the hold. And they're going to keep them there until they get answers. Yes, you can say that there is, but there isn't enough. There, they, There's nowhere. The only way they can, the only way that Archer and Lancer would appear would be if, you know, appeared before them. Archer would not appear ever because he is intangible. Meaning he will not be seen. So... Again, why is there no one investigating this shit? I'm surprised there's no private investigators going to house to house. Especially Shiro's or Rin's. No one is questioning them. I don't know. I just think personally that's kind of stupid. One would think because of everything that's happened that they'd have enough leads to go and visit them and be like, Hey, knock knock. We caught you on camera. What was that fight about? I want a lawyer. <laughs> like that always dawns as like puzzling and confusing to me. One would think that invest an investigation would be happening, but no, nothing's happening. Especially despite all the events with the comas and whatnot. Well, it is being looked into, but it does it's not being presented enough on screen to where it's taken seriously it's almost looked like it's taken as like not that big of a case as even though a lot of people are going through comas a lot of people are being killed i'm just wondering why shiro and rin are not being investigated i don't know that's that's just always confused me but uh yeah guys um that's it for me don't forget to like comment sub if you haven't already Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.